Hello, my name is Ethan, and welcome back to another episode of Path of Exile Harvest League 3.11. In this episode, I'm going to be doing build reviews. If you don't know how to submit a build review, basically go to my Twitch stream, my stream, uh, Twitch, twitch.tv slash the game report, and you type exclamation point build review. It'll tell you to uh, get 10,000 channel points. To get channel points, just watch the stream. You get the channel points in the bottom left of the chat, and then you can use 10,000 channel points to redeem a build review. And uh, you, all you have to do is submit your profile name, why you need the build review, and uh, and the character name. Thank you. Now let's get into it. I have these build reviews submitted by you guys. So this is the interface that I have for seeing the submitted build reviews. So we have this first one here. We'll just get right into it. Seven days ago, profile Crypto Knight 74. Thank you. He's looking for the tweaks. All right, dude. Mostly have trouble in T16 Blight. I can't do a total AFK. Okay. Not enough damage. Okay. The pump gets destroyed if I don't build more than the initial two towers. Oh, no, no. Two towers. Any suggestions would be helpful. Thanks, Ethan, for looking into it. No problem, dude. I've already done it. So here we have his original. I imported it, and this is what I see. So I will tell... Oh, wait. I will tell you guys what I, what I initially think of when I see this POB, okay? So I opened up this path of building, and I saw... Dude, what? No grave pact? Wait, he took the decks because he wants 170 decks. Wait, dude, that looks like a feasting fiends, dude. That is a feasting fiends. Um, yep. And then over here we got the rotting claws feasting call to slaughter. Uh, he took this soul venerity when he's 10% mana reserved. Um. Okay, so now I'll show you Oh, a couple more things. Awakened gems aren't leveled. Uh 210 when he has like awakened multi, awakened melee fizz. Uh he probably just got them. Uh he's using cold iron points, brass dome, no uh corruption, and Yeah, he has this cool abyss jewel. Pretty good. Okay, so now I wanna point out that okay let me just show you show you what i did so this is what my changes are uh his damage i forgot to show his damage was 1 million on pob so so he has really high damage technically but i'm wondering if it's misleading okay no i like I don't know. Either way, he had a million damage. I feel like this should have been enough. But either way, he, he says he, it isn't, and he's losing. So what I did is um, I took out Soul Venerity. So this saves you three points on the skill tree, taking out this. And uh, I also said, look, dude, you don't need five points of deck. Like, you don't need the decks. What you do is you lower your phase run and take off the decks. This is what we learned from this season. And then you could take a three point jewel socket. And so I, I did that in the new skill tree, but we'll just keep taking out points for now. Um, and I also pointed out to myself that he uses the righteous army and redemption and then his cluster jewels are wrong. So basically what I did is uh, I, I chose to pick grave pact and I took this three point jewel socket. Uh, that's from the three points from this and the four the the five points from this so that's eight points total here's three here's five there you go and then i kept the other things the same but i changed his cluster jewels so ignore the implicit but basically this is primordial bond renewal rotting clause and so this is way better than what he had because you get an extra renewal um same thing over here an extra renewal and rotting clause um Oh, wait, he had Rotten Claws. He was missing Primordial Bond. So, yeah, we'll have more physical damage reduction and more life regen, potentially, in the new version. Slightly more regen. Uh, the damage, though, is better. And... And then... We show... Uh, I leveled up his Awakened Gems. So, this is with the leveled up Awakened Gems. A 21-20 carry-on instead. And... Uh, I, I also changed the staff. Okay. 
So the big the biggest changes is I would take off Solvinarity right away and take out the decks and change it to this with Grave Pact and this three point jewel socket. It's just better. Um, and then the next thing is upgrade your cluster jewels to the Primordial Bond Renewal Rotting Claws. And I showed this, but you had two cold iron points, uh, which is 1.35 million. It's pretty good. But if you want to go one step further, you go to 1.582 with the staff. Um, so the staff is the is my staff for the league. It's the minion double damage uh, fractured from the temple mod with the plus two all spell skill gems, plus three all physical spell skill gems, 45 fire res, 32 chaos res, and crafted attack and cast speed. Um, and then, yeah, so I took your build from 1 million to 1.58 just by upgrading the cluster jewels and the uh, skill tree. So the skill tree and the cluster jewels seem like the easy one, and then if you want 20% more, the staff. Uh, there we go. That's the first build review. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll leave the link to this to both of them in the description below as the original and the after. Thank you. And we're back with the second build review. So Inets, name Speedy D4. Hi, Ethan. What should I do next? I have two medium coasters ready to use. I saved 12x. What can I do to get more damage and maybe more survivability? And he puts a tongue out face because that one he's trolling. By the way, I don't understand. I watched your T13 Blood AFK video and I still couldn't do it AFK even though I have a bit more damage than recommended. The boss split and destroyed my pump. Thanks in advance. So yeah, that's the hardest boss in Blight. Um, you you obviously need a little bit more damage than what you had, which is shocking, but maybe you didn't place your carry-on golems correctly and you didn't have all four of them attacking. That would, is what I was thinking. But anyways, uh, this is the POB submitted. So let me just select this shit, my bad. I forgot to do this in the one that I saved as the original. Uh, he doesn't have me uh, he doesn't have awakened Maleefas. Okay, so 900,000 is his DPS on his POB. And so like always, I'll point out the glaring things that make my eyes go, ah! Okay, so first one, one random strength point, delete. One random life point, because he has extra points. Delete. One extra... Ten decks. Ten decks. And you will say, No, Ethan, he needs that for the for the phase run. Dude, he could have taken 30 decks. But, even besides that, we've learned, like I did in the last dude. You just lower the phase run by two. Easy. Okay, then the next one. Uh, I said... This looks pretty cool. Open jewel socket, dude. And uh, I was like, well, if he has the large clusters, and he already has the mediums ready to go, and I just freed up some points on his skill tree, and then I'm thinking, dude, five five point jewel sockets aren't worth it, um, unless there's like, so for res especially, like he can fix this. So I deleted the res, and I deleted that, and then this is what I what he basically was looking at, and. Uh, and I deleted this. Okay. So he had 13 extra points. And what I did is... I created... So yeah, remember, he had 900,000 damage. And I created this. 1.25 million, 1.26 million. Uh, so what we did is, we added his, lar his medium four times. So he had one medium in the build, but it's going to be different. So when he actually does this, um, he, he has open suffixes on these clusters medium clusters so he can get the res that he's missing so if you scroll down you'll notice he needs some cold and lightning so he needs to get cold on every single one of these um and maybe even some lightning okay uh that's my that's my note uh he could also change some items it's a little harder because he's put so much into his items that you can tell when you look at them but then the other thing is yeah i, I deleted this um deleted the extra decks deleted the random extra thing oh and we repathed we did the repathing, so he gained unwavering stance in the build now, and I leveled him up to 98 instead of 97, because it just fit a little bit better. Um, you could technically just say 97 with one extra, one less life point, I guess, keep it the same, fine, but, but it would be that extra life point and it's smooth and clean. Um, and then yeah, so I added four mediums to the build. And uh, I also spent his extra currency on making or getting awakened melee fizz. 
Uh, I don't know why this has... Did his normal melee fizz have 23 quality? Anyways, awaken melee fizz with the chance to intimidate. So then you can turn on intimidate. And the difference with intimidate is 80,000... 75,000 damage, something like that. It's pretty, pretty crazy. Uh, and so this is the difference taken from 900,000 to 1.26 by adding in mediums, changing his skill tree, um, and getting awakened melee fizz. Easy clap. And then if you ask, how, how do you upgrade this even further? Uh, awaken multi-strike, awaken brutality, the staff. There you go, dude. Thank you for the build review. Next. And we're back with the third build review. So we got Hexus89. He says, thanks for the previous review. You'll see I've listened and changed a lot and really invested time into Harvest. What's my next step? You'd say I do now. I get plus one max chaos and lightning 30 lightning res from the jewel. So I pulled up his path of building. Uh, what we see is two dex points for, uh, for 60 dex. He's got the cool pathing. He's missing a cluster, a medium cluster. So he says, "What are your what are your thoughts?" My first reaction is, "Hey, dude, you're only 95. Uh, take yourself to 99. So watch your HP, 4173. Gain 115 life, four points. Spend the four points in a medium cluster jewel. I noticed that your jewels, your your gems weren't leveled. You had awakened brutality and all this shit without leveled. So like impale, for example, 1.235, level it up, boom, 16k. You get another bit of damage, some damage there, some more damage there. Uh, getting an extra medium cluster is gonna help you. <clears throat> you could use the staff. Okay, so now I'll just show you the actual pob I made. So I got you to 1.637. <clears throat> So what I did is level 99, extra medium cluster jewel, like I said, skill tree is basically the same though, kept the extra dex, it doesn't matter to me, I don't care. Uh, then I leveled up your gems, put the 21 impale, I leveled up your awakened generosity and your dread banner, and yeah, I left these alone, I didn't, it's fine, but you should get a 21 specter and a 21 zombies, why not? Uh, and I put in the staff instead of the cold iron points as an upgrade. And, uh, yeah, you'll be able to fit in the extra medium. And then I was going through your items, and I was like, okay, let me look at this. So, why does he only have 4,288 life with this build? 59 life. 72 life. 75 life. That's pretty good. 68 life. Pretty good. 47. Ouch. And then taunt blind, and he's got 21 life. He could get more on it. So he's got some spots to get more life. Uh, like I said, he could go to 99. That's a big improvement. I think it's like the biggest thing he could do is go do pure Chayula Rotas and go level up because he's just got free skill points waiting to be claimed, and that's easy. And then he could go for the staff, and he can go for these extra levels on his thing. So actually just leveling up pure Chayulas is going to level this shit up, except for the Impale. You have to go buy that, 2120. But uh, thank you, Hexus89, uh, again, for the extra build review. Thank you for the kind words of thanking me for the previous review. You did change a lot, and thank you again, man. Uh, hope you enjoyed the build review. My final build review. So Salad Days says here, Okay, trying to do this the correct way this time. Smiley face. Profile name is Esmoli. Thank you. Level 93 Elementalist PC Harvest League. Pri primarily looking to improve survivability. Also, what should I focus on for my next couple upgrades? 35x. Okay. Thank you for the for the build review submission again. So this is the build. 93 Elementalist. 1,056,000 damage per carry-on in POB, apparently. And uh, so the things I noticed right away is 4% life here, dex, um, no mediums, 93. So what I immediately thought is we could make this better. So you know me, here we go, let's just start it off, I deleted Righteous Army, Redemption, and I pathed to get Unwavering Stance for him, um, I fixed the skill tree so he doesn't have the res jewel socket either, I kept the decks, I don't care, 
like I said last time. So, uh, I removed the res. So he has to make up the res. His res isn't good. Um, but, but what I did is I got him four medium closer jewels. And then he can get res on the medium closer jewels. So right now this is chaos and cold. So his cold is 19 over. Um, he doesn't need this. But what I did notice is he asked about survivability this is the original build okay and he he said survivability so let's let's point at that you salad days you have survivability issues and it's because you have 46 chaos res if this is somehow 85 and you get 39 from that from this gem then uh, this jewel then never mind but i don't think you do and so if this isn't 85 I'll explain it right now, and I'll explain it for anyone who doesn't know what's going on here. Um, okay, so give me a second. Uh, so you're using a timeless jewel in the build. Uh, and you may not know. So I'm staring at this red circle right now. And you're running this, this thing called Zabakwa, Divine Flesh. So what this does is it's a keystone that... So we converted Mind Over Matter, which makes 30% of damage t taken from mana before life. We convert it into uh, this keystone called Divine Flesh that converts 50% of elemental damage taken to chaos. So so when when you have 46, ha you're taking so much chaos damage and... This is horrible. Like, this is why you're so squishy. This explains it. You need... If you're going to run this jewel, you have to get 85 on the... Um, oh, wait. This isn't even in the right name. It, this has to be in the name of Zabakwa. What do you have? Wait. What's a ha Ahuana? You have a mortal ambition. Let's look at what this is. This is what he's running, which disables both energy shield recharge and regeneration rate and makes it de degenerate by 5% each second which causing, while causing life leech to recover energy shield when on full life. So this is that new one, right? That's useless. So you want to be running the correct one. So to get this, it has to be in the name of zabakwa and then you get divine flesh and then your chaos res really matters so you literally don't have one of the survivability packages in the build you're running some random troll shit and you're running a random wrong glorious vanity i hope this really helps you dude um i know it will so that's that's the difference on the survivability and then i took it one step further i said well while i'm at it you know uh, you should probably get these medium clusters in the build so this is how you would do it you could get some more chaos res from the medium clusters uh, you change the skill tree, get the res through the clusters, maybe, and through items. I also was looking through your items, and I noticed this doesn't have a craft, so you could remove, like, crit, and then you can craft something, and it's really easy. Uh, you don't need the socketed attacks to have crit. Um, this one, nice, pretty nice, nice. Rawhide boots, I noticed, uh, you could roll the lightning res higher. Um, and then you could also craft... A different one like fire and chaos for example and that would cap you or cold chaos uh here you have pretty low fire cold chaos and also uh this could have life so if you made a new one and didn't hit mana and then you were able to craft life or add life um this is pretty good nothing to say this, this is 15 chaos it could be pretty it could be better and then um yeah could be better and uh this this is pretty nice i like what you've done i forgot to mention in the last build that i changed his flask because he, he had he didn't have flask but pretty much those were the only big changes and i changed i think your uh after doing the medium closer jewels to the build uh, and the skill tree change I was going through your harmony eminence and this is the balance of harmony and eminences and just in case for anyone watching the priority on the harmonies is 20% increased golem damage the priority on the eminence is 20% attack speed hope that helps hope that clarifies but overall then you end up with uh, 1.3 compared to 1 million 50 um, and you have less life 
but then the end goal is that you actually, with, after watching this guide, you'll be running the correct build, you'll go get a Zabakwa Glorious Vanity, or you could Divine Orb this until it turns into a In the Name of Zabakwa, and then it'll make Divine Flesh, and then your build will actually work when you have 85 Chaos, make sure you have 85 Chaos, make sure to cap your reses. I uh, hope this could help you. Hope this was exactly what you were looking for, dude. I know this is going to make a huge difference. It's almost like you weren't you weren't even using the Glorious Vanity, so now it's going to feel amazing. Uh, thank you guys for all the support. Thank you guys for watching. I can't do this without you guys. I'm going to take this opportunity to thank my Patreon and my YouTube members who financially support the channel. Thank you guys for all the support. I can't do this without you guys. And thank you to anyone new who joins the Patreon and the YouTube members today. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye! I just need to add this in here. I was trying I, I was trying to save another pob and then they made it there's look at this error creating pace bad api request post limit maximum pace per 24 hours reach oh god well